Okay, just to follow up, one of the things we were just doing is showing you that we could open JPEG and TIFF files in Adobe Camera Raw. If we come up here to edit, we can run down to Camera Raw Preferences. We'll go ahead and click on that. And we get a little dialog box here showing us all sorts of preferences that we can set up with RAW. These are the default ones. Be real careful about changing anything in here. Uh, I would leave pretty much everything as, as default. If you come down here, you're going to notice that uh, the default JPEG and TIFF handling, we're again talking about camera raw preferences, it will open up JPEGs with settings. It will open up TIFFs with settings. So later on, if we process this JPEG image, let's say right up here, we're going to notice that it'll wind up with one of these little setting markers right here, which means it has a sidecar file, an XMP sidecar file associated with that JPEG file, and are, there are raw settings that go along with it. Okay, so that means that there are instruction sets of what to do, and when we're in Bridge looking at the JPEG or TIFF or even our raw files, if we have settings, which means there's a sidecar file with adjustments, we will actually be looking at the, these images as the adjustments are applied. So let's expand upon that a little bit here. Um, what we're saying is there are settings that are applied to this particular image, and we're seeing this image as the settings were applied. If we can do something really fun, we can right-click on, on this little thumbnail, run down here to Develop Settings, and go to Copy Settings. If we decide that this here um, raw file is similar similar to this raw file and we wanted to simply duplicate the settings we could right click scroll down to develop settings and then click on paste settings this dialog bo box pops up all of these will always be checked off because those are the kinds of things that we're going to be wanting to apply if you also had a crop or a spot remover or a local adjustment that you wanted to apply in the very same manner, you could check those off. I don't in this case, so we're simply going to go OK. And we saw the change in the preview, and now this image has a little marker up here indicating that there's a sidecar file with settings and that it's being applied. If we decide we don't like that, we can right-click on it, scroll down to Develop Settings, scroll over to Clear Settings, and we can clear those settings out. Real, real fun, real handy way uh, of, of doing similar settings to a bunch of images. And we can select an endless number here of these that we could, uh, let's not select that one, that we could, let's not select that one, they already have their own um, adjustments. Yeah, we could even do it to a JPEG. And we could then right click, develop settings, and paste settings. And click OK on all of these. And our settings would kick in. That looks kind of nice. Eh, we're going to go ahead though and right click, develop settings, and clear those settings. Another very useful thing we can do is simply duplicate a file. So for example we have this file here selected. If I go over to edit, click on it, scroll down to duplicate and click on duplicate, we notice that now we have a copy, identical copy of that file right next to it in our content tab. We could, we've done this to, to one image, we could have selected five images, edit, gone over to edit, pardon me, gone over to edit, scroll down to duplicate, and duplicated five images at one time. Here we have a copy of a copy. We can do this indefinitely and we can do as many at a time as we want. We're going to go ahead and kill this extra one here, so we're going to right click on it and delete. And yeah, we're going to send it to the recycle bin and we're sure. Why would we want our original in a copy? Well, there are reasons we may want to do that. We may want to have one with 
no settings on so we can compare our adjustments from our original to our settings in Photoshop or pardon me our settings in Adobe Camera Raw to see if we like what we've done we may let's go ahead and double click this bring this on into Adobe Camera Raw and we'll jump ahead a little bit here we may want to process one as a black and white we've done no real fine processing here but now we have samples okay we want to do one of black and white and save those settings and one in color and save those settings all right, so that's another very handy tool to use. Duplicate. Edit, drop down, duplicate. Very useful tool. We're going to go ahead and clear that now. We'll just hit delete. Now I've selected it. I can also hit the delete button on the keyboard and hit delete again and go OK and it'll go away. This brings us to the end of this section.